Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios, bringing you a long overdue episode of my review on some of the Samsung Gear S apps. Today I'm going to be going over all the apps that I personally use um, during the last 3-4 months of me owning this device and what my thoughts were on them. Um, today is going to be going through all the free apps though, so if you were looking for uh, reviews on the paid apps, please go ahead and leave a comment down below um, to pretty much tell me what apps that you were looking for reviews on or apps that you're questioning. And I will personally go out and download those apps and try out myself. Um, there is actually a good handful of apps out there right now that I don't have time to really go through all of them and the money to pay for all of them um, to give you guys my take on it. But um, I'll gladly take your suggestions and make that into make that into a separate review video of paid apps. But without further ado, let's dive right on into my Gear S and how I use it. Now, before I dive into all the downloadable apps, let me quickly go over the preloaded apps that come in the Gear S. So the first thing, the phone feature. You can make phone calls through the watch. Technically speaking, you control your phone through the Gear S using this app or when the device is in standalone mode when you have a data plan. Now, on the other hand, your contacts are solely dictated by your phone. So whatever you have on your phone device when you pair it with the Gear S, that's what's going to update on there. Text messages are pretty straightforward as well too. You can go in, open and read text messages. So I'm going to hide the name and phone number, but as you see here, my buddy just texted me about Resident Evil, and I can go ahead and text him right back through the watch here. So you just hit reply, and the keyboard, the QWERTY keyboard pops up and you can go ahead and start typing away and then send your reply. So whether you're in standalone mode or connected to the, your phone device, your Galaxy device, it'll still send the text message back. While you thought the text messages were nice, you can also do that with your email. Now, what's nice about the email app is actually pretty similar to the messaging app. You can receive all your notifications and read our emails on the Gear S, but at the same time, you can also reply and send emails as well through the app which I found really cool because I tested it a few times at the office and even people were like, no way. <laughs> but uh, it's I don't use it all the time, but sometimes I, I've used it a, a couple times here and there to reply to some of you actually, um, as well to just get back to some urgent emails. But this was a, a definitely nice thing to have because although I didn't use it on a daily basis, when I needed to use it, it was definitely, you know, I was very thankful that I had it. Now for S Health. Now this app has been getting actually quite mixed reviews from a lot of people. Some people really like it, some people really hate it and pretty much say that their Fitbit is so much better. And for those people I just want to say that if you want a true fitness oriented watch then the Fitbit or the Nike Fuel Band or the Garmin might be your best bet. This is pretty much kind of the middle ground. I mean, yes, I also agree with you that the S Health could be a little bit more intuitive, especially with all the sensors and technology in the Gear S, but for the average Joe like me who just need pretty much steps and distance and calorie and estimated calories burn and heart rate, this pretty much does it for me. It, it works pretty well in those aspects. And the sleep monitor, I really love because I love seeing how exhausted I am if anything because a lot the most of the times when I actually use the sleep monitor it pretty much averages 90 to 99 percent no movement in the entire sleep cycle so that's really cool and for me this UV monitor is almost really useless like um, they have two little light sensors up front pretty much that measure the UV rays so um, for some people that might be important hence why they put it in there but for me <laughs> I can kind of live without it but the pedometer, guys, it's pretty spot on. Um, I had the gear fit when that thing came out last year, and I thought that was pretty accurate, but the Samsung pretty much stepped up their game and made the, the sensor even more sensitive to that aspect. So you can't just flare around your arm like this all day to get your step count up. It might get a couple through, but mostly it, I think it utilizes not only the accelerometer, but uh, some, other, uh, some other things in there, but I found it to be very accurate. And in combination with the exercise and the heart rate app, um, it's pretty much kept good track of my workouts when I was doing it. Um, so when I was running, um, it was it kept pretty good rates of everything. All right, guys. Well, aside from the free apps that come out of the box, what other apps did I download that I personally like to use? Um, well, the first one is, let me just scroll all the way down. I want to point this out first. It's going to be the Samsung Wallet. 
I love this app. This is actually a, something that I think all of you, especially with people who have membership cards, should download. Um, pretty much, I no longer carry any of my membership cards anymore because I actually store them on my watch now, or technically on my phone, which trans over to just translates over to the watch. But this thing has made my life so much more convenient. Uh, you have no idea. If anything, too, it's giving me that extra wow factor to show off to people. Uh, it's because you can literally store all your cards in here. And it's really cool. I mean, because you go ahead and select the one you need and you just go ahead and give it to the teller and he or she will scan it for you and it'll go in. Now, give or take, not, not all scanners out there will work with this device just because they're not all quite as sensitive yet. But I gave it a nice 8 out of 10 locations have been able to accept my watch as the membership card. And when it couldn't, I just simply used my number or just gave my phone number and used it. But this thing has definitely been a, a lifesaver not, well, not a really a lifesaver, but it's been it's been really definitely making my life more convenient. Um, on top of that, apparently you can store tickets, so you you can go ahead and purchase tickets through the app online and store your tickets on here. So when you go up to the Ticketmaster per se, um, they'll go ahead and accept your ticket through your watch. So I think that's a cool feature. I personally haven't used it yet, so I can't really give my personal take on that. And apparently, you can also store coupons. Now, for those of you who are looking for a way like a thing like Apple Pay. Samsung didn't implement something like that yet, uh, at least not in this country as, as far as I know, but um, that isn't available quite yet because not all businesses throughout the country or let alone the world have begun accepting NFC uh, pe uh, type payments. So don't look for it now. I mean, if that's what you were looking for, I'm sorry, it's not available right now, but, um, but for the convenience factor, guys, this thing definitely takes the cake. Now, what's another necessity? That calculator. Of course. I don't know why you wouldn't have the calculator on. There. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the apps is actually I'm going to be utilizing the gear app store um, that they provided for you. And pretty much, I recommend almost downloading every single app under there. Their gear essentials category, which is right up here. So every category that's under there, I really do suggest downloading. Uh, because they're pretty they're really the essential ones and they're these are the frequent apps that you will most likely use into your day-to-day -day like I have so number one milk if you if you haven't seen my other videos milk is Samsung's Pandora iHeartRadio it's their streaming app and to be honest I really like it now the milk app on the gear s is awesome because not only does it control um, all the functions on the phone, but when it's in standalone mode, well, the app actually runs off the 4G right off the watch. So, so if you want to leave your phone at home one day when you want to go to the gym or just for a walk, you can actually do so and connect the watch to the 4G network as long as you have the data plan and pretty much stream all your music on the go without needing to have a phone. As you guys can see here, the Milk app is actually pretty straightforward to use. So you got your, your, your pause and play and then the skip button and then all you have to do is just go ahead and tap on the radio station on the top and then you can go through your uh, your your pre-made stations as well as all the pre uh, pre-categorized um, stations that they already have for you here. And they got, you guys, they have a ton on here. That you can go through so i'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find the music station that you like listening to uh, without a doubt so for me the milk app is almost a must download i mean at least for me because i like when i work i need to listen to music and milk really gives me a good variety of music while i'm working so and also when i'm working out so perfect so what's another essential well the opera mini browser now there is the gear internet browser but i definitely prefer opera over that one just because i feel like it does run a lot smoother so let me show you actually what it looks like here and there you go they actually have a lot they already have preset addresses that you can go to and what's cool about this is guys i yes you can access pandora and iHeartRadio on it piece it doesn't have a flash player built in but you can access your Gmail, you can go to your Facebook, Twitter, you can just tr treat it like a normal internet browser. So it's really cool. Now for those of you who are saying, oh well it's really small, how are you going to be able to see anything? Let me show you. Now once the internet site loads up, it's going to look small. Hold your thought there though, uh, because obviously folks, you can actually, well from the looks of it, it looks really tiny, but when you look at it in real life, it isn't so bad because you're actually you're holding your watch up to your face, folks. So I mean, it's not going to be as bad as many of you think. But for those people who are going to still say nay to it, um, you can go ahead and zoom in to the to the site there. I mean, pinch zoom is pretty much a standard on all touch devices these days. So now you can go ahead and browse everything just fine. And I'm browsing the website right here. 
and I'm going through. You can go ahead and zoom back out if need be. So, I mean, it works just fine, folks. And a lot of people who said, like, they were complaining how the Facebook app wasn't out there yet. There was a lot of apps that weren't available for the Gear S. They found that the Opera Mini Browser was a good, a, a, a suitable alternative for now until those apps get released. So, there's that. Now, what are the other essential apps? And, well, you got the Stopwatch and the Compass. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a runner anymore, so I don't really need a stopwatch and a compass. I don't really go hiking, but they might actually work for some people. I tried both of them out. They work just fine. I mean, you have to calibrate the compass a little bit, but pretty much as their name says, so no need to really review those. Now, aside from the Gear Essential apps, what other apps do I personally use? And the first one's going to be actually the Zeno Zoo. I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but this app was recommended to me by a commenter because this is pretty much the YouTube player for the Gear S. And after downloading this app, I realized that there was actually a ton of apps out there that um, pretty much you can get Instagram now. And I believe there was someone who's working on Twitter, but... People are making their own personal apps to make Instagram and all these other social media st sites work on their watch. So that's really cool. So the developer community is finally growing and getting smart with this stuff. So kudos to them. But this this app right here is pretty much the YouTube player for the Gear S. And it works really well in my opinion. Alright, so when the app loads up properly, like this is what you'll get. So, I mean, it's not the YouTube interface, so don't expect some pizzazz, but it's really straightforward. It brings up pretty much, uh, actually, it brought up the videos that I watched recently. So, yes, I watched Lady Gaga. Don't judge me. I just wanted to watch her musical interpretation of it. But let's go ahead and search my website, LPX Studios, and let's see what it comes up. Let's put it through, the, let's put it through its paces. And let's see what videos pop up here. And there you go. All my videos pop up. I think it goes by the most popular, but it goes by the rating. And I don't know what algorithm that they use in the background, but all my videos are coming up here. So let's go ahead and play one of my vlogs here. Let's just come back up and let's see here. Let's go ahead and see if this actually plays. As you see, guys, I just loaded up one of my actually my recent vlogs here and it's playing in the vertical mode. But let's say you want to go in widescreen mode. There's a little icon up top when you tap the screen. Let's go ahead and tap that here. And it's going to be in the top left. You tap that. And it goes into widescreen mode. So there you guys go. So there you have it, guys. For those of you who are YouTube addicts, you can now get it on your computer, your phone, and now your watch. So you have no excuse to miss any of my videos. <laughs> now, for those of you who are news buffs or news connoisseurs like I am, like I pretty much log into Yahoo News all the time and just look at the quick highlights of the day. Um, Bullet News is another cool app that you can have on top of the news briefings that Samsung gives you. So Bullet News is pretty much the same as the news briefing, but I kind of like this one better because you choose which categories you want to um, receive news from and it pretty much gives you the top news right from them. So you just go ahead and skip through. So I actually really prefer this app over using like Yahoo News or Bloomberg because it gives you a variety of sources. And every morning I check this app to see what's going on in the world, technology, and entertainment as well too. So um, I thought this was a really cool app to get because you can just go ahead and read the headlines. If you like something, you can just go ahead and tap right into it and it'll open up the full entire article. You can read it right on your watch. So whether you commute into work or you take the train or you just have a nice long cup of coffee in the morning, this might be one way you can get your news without you know having to hold your phone out, waste your battery, or open up a giant newspaper or having a need of a television set. Now, one last app that I want to talk about is actually the Five Tiles SMS app that you can download from the App Store right now. Um, the developers of this app actually reached out to me personally to see what my thoughts were on it. And I've only used it for a couple days now, and I plan on using it for a little bit more to get used to it. Um, but pretty much, this is an alternate way of using the keyboard. For, so for those of you who actually find the small QWERTY keyboard really cumbersome, this might be a good alternative for you. Because the way it works is, let me go ahead and open it. So once the app is open, what's cool about it is it actually communicates with the text messages from your phone and relays it back to here on your watch interface. So pretty much you can go ahead and read everything pretty clearly actually. It's small from the video screen, but when you're actually holding it up, it actually looks really nice. Um, but you can go ahead and reply to them. And when the keyboard comes up, it comes up like this. Now the way the keyboard works is, as you can see here, it's laid out from left to right and it uses a sliding function. So in order to type, you just pretty much have to slide the letters out. So I'm going to spell bad. So I'm going to go from here, scroll over to B, scroll A, 
and then D, and then there's bad. So if I want to delete it, I just go ahead and hold it up, and then swipe up to delete. So that works, and deletes it out. So one one minor gripe about this is pretty much similar to T9 um, back in the day. I don't know if any of you remember that, but pretty much you had to pretty much pump out all the words, what the letters one by one to spell the words out. So some people mastered it, like I did on the old dial phones. I just did I just did it without looking, but people got used to that. But this method follows that. For those of you who don't use a suggested word, uh, the words that the modern keyboards use, this app might actually be good for you because this way your fingers are not getting jumbled up between all the letters and stuff and you have to constantly be deleting anything. Uh, you pretty much have all the letters spaced out for you and then that's how you go about using it so um i can't really give my true honest opinion on this quite yet because i haven't gotten quite used to it it's a little bit difficult right now i'll admit that but i think with a little bit more use i might get quicker with it so but i also want to ask the community to try this app as well too it's a free app it's a nice alternative to the current keyboard and i just want to see what your thoughts on it some of you may like it some of you may not but this way um i can gather some notes up that i can go ahead and get back to developers so they can go ahead and see if they can make some improvements to the app or not so please guys i encourage you guys to go ahead and try this out because not only does it give you a different option for a keyboard but it really does help the developer um, pretty much evolve the keyboard so if, it may not be to your liking right now but it could change based on what we send them so let's go ahead and utilize this community guys all right, folks. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say on the apps that I personally use, as well as the apps that come in with the Gear S. If you would like to see me review uh, for a paid app or an app that you are questioning on, please go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to go and check out and make a new compilation of a pretty much a fresh app video. Um, but the reason why I stuck with all these free apps and the built-in Gear S apps is because um, these are the apps that I personally use. Um, I, when I got the device, I've had it for three or four months. I mainly use my watch for the notification, um, the pedometer, the health app, and as well as being able to send text messages and receive phone calls through the Gear S. On, but other than that, I really don't use it for many things else, like you know, playing games, um, having to respond to Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff. It just doesn't really interest me to be using on the watch quite yet. Um, I don't feel I don't actually have the urge to need that information on my day to day basis. But please don't let that deter you from some of these apps because a lot of them look to be really good. I, I quickly just went through and read a lot of the reviews for a, a lot of the apps and some are really good apparently and maybe worth a shot. So if there's an app that you're questioning, I'll be more than happy to check it out for you guys. Like I'll go out of my daily norm to uh, to review an app for you but please don't discourage my lifestyle to your lifestyle because you know you may have a completely different need for the watch than i do because a lot of commenters already been talking to me about how they use their gear s and it's like they pretty much depend on their gear s for everything while me i just pretty much use it as a side thing but um but don't get me wrong i definitely could not imagine not having my gear s anymore because when i don't have it on i kind of freak out and i always miss it so but as always, guys, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down to let me know if you liked or disliked this video. And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to support my channel, as well as to you know join the ever-growing community that we're growing here. And if I don't see you in the next video, um, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate your time. But hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.